Alrighty, I'm back. This time I'm going to talk about Fnatic, which just took down H2K in a really, really impressive upset. 3 uh, 0 sweep uh, after a dismal season where they barely, just in the last game, got even to the playoffs. Um, they barely even got, got a coach, really. But it seems like, with the help a lot from Jesses stepping up, and uh, the drafting actually working out, uh, having a, an identity which have sorely lacked for more or less um, one and a half year it's time span. It, it's, it, it has been so bad uh, for so long, but now it finally seems like they got, um, it, it seems like they got a, the p- pieces to make a puzzle, uh, which they've created themselves uh, themselves throughout the years uh, after the Korean invasion, where they they've struggled majorly, uh, or greatly, sorry, um, to to find a scheme that works. So it seems like they got the pieces now, uh, and uh, they got the talent as well. Uh, sh- surely Jesse's isn't the long time um, piece to the puzzle, but of a jigsaw or whatever you want to call it but at least he's flexible in his um, champion pool and uh, that's really appreciated uh, when you can play like Camille but Camille can be flexed uh, top lane as well which is just a huge improvement to Fnatic entirely because they have not been able to have any kind of flexibility in their draft for quite a while and being able to pl- play it properly um, when they f- do flex. I think it's a great, great thing that they finally got the right mixture of uh, carry potential from the bot lane with Reckless playing an outstanding, uh, more or less outstanding season, uh, embracing his captain role in a sense, even though he might not really be the captain, but um, but he's he's doing his part. Um, Soas is on and off as always, but when you help him out with Broxa, which I think was a, a decent to a great, um, great decision to bring him in. He's done good and bad things, but so have the team in itself. But there's something to it. it, it there's something to build on, and I like that they have kept Soas and uh, Jesses to at least make them. Maybe not so as, but at least Jesse, he, he could feel like a coach or a mental coach role for later on when he probably will retire. Uh, but it's also just great to get kind of the routine into a squad. You need some, you need something to bounce off uh, a, 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 a sparring partner, something to relay your thoughts and even your critique. Some some. Some guys uh, just need something to when they're rookies. Uh, they need some assistance in uh, getting accustomed to the whole scene and uh, how the how the whole thing actually works in good times and in bad times. And these guys have certainly proven themselves over times uh, over LCS time span. And um, so that's a great idea. And but but then again. They need to somehow. They, they they will have to make a roster swap for the bot lane, but but if it works, good enough for the region. Because I've lowered my expectation really really much <laughs> throughout this last year. So just success in Europe is good enough. They won't win any kind of competition internationally unless the competition won't adapt to what Fnatic are doing. Because if you adapt to what Fnatic are doing, you certainly have a, a good good time against them. Since, let's face it, it's it's pretty much rugger bust in the in the early game, um, and if you somehow kind of p- pick apart the comps, it's pretty obvious that they are a heavy mobile composition who really really 
excels at picking off opponents using the jungle, uh, especially in roaming, because they know they are not going to win the lanes in themselves. If you, at least if you uh, go against good enough opponents, they won't. So, if you have a proper warding and you know where they are likely to go, you can pretty much figure Fnatic out pretty easily. But at, at this level, it's, it's, it's good enough. And you can certainly build off this, because this is a, an identity you can play like this. There, there have been multiple squads throughout the years uh, who have been good enough to take this really far. Uh, so it's not a bad idea, it's, it, it's certainly something to go with. Uh, even the, the famous lineup, lineup with uh, Huni uh, and Rainover uh, at the summer split didn't do much tactically that was brilliant, uh, but they had a style, they had a way to, to actually make themselves work, a scheme that worked with them and the other teammates as well, because they got enabled throughout the game. And that it's similar to this, uh, so I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the squad. Right now, we will see against better opponents, but uh, yeah, you can really blame uh, H2K for being absolutely terrible at drafting. I don't know what on earth they were doing with their drafting skills. Um, had no kind of either they had a front line composition with some front of front line but there were no what's no no way whatsoever that they could match the roaming yet still they played too aggressive or they didn't do a damn shit or they didn't counter play the opposite side of the map as a team they didn't do anything to counteract all the roaming uh and they picked two weak laners, really weak, not weak, weak laners, but squishy and way too many one-shot kind of carries who needs to be able to either have a lot of farm or needs setup to work. I, Syndra is not entirely the greatest pick to make, or Israel for that matter. It's 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 all right, but I, I don't think it's a team-oriented composition. It's too reliant on the carries. While Fnatic's comp needs to be enabled throughout multiple members, and that is the quintessential, the, the thing that worked best is is that the fact that they all had to do something, and they were all important. They all had some vital part in it, and it might not have been in the lanes themselves, but as a tactic, they were really essential, and they played it perfectly. So even just the fact that they could do that and actually have some flexibility in the draft is more than enough to make this work, and they can certainly win this split, even though they've sucked ass all season long, and they've been so bad. It's unbelievable, and they need to address the coaching situation unless they mean they think this temporary uh, temporary solution is enough. I I don't know, but but uh, yeah. So to sum it up, the players are stepping up. They are actually adapting to the tactic. They have all adapted the draft to the tactic. Yes, you can counterplay it, but there are so many. Other ways you can play. There are a lot of champions in this game, so there are a lot of champions in this game. So you can certainly make 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 it with a other kind of champs um, or make it happen once again. Um, so yeah, so yeah. Sorry, I messed up that part up. Um, but yeah, you can play the style for sure. Even though you might not have the same champions, uh, I like it, and they adapt it. Even though the players are not all that great. Uh, Reckless is doing a great job, Jess is all of them. Um, and they're embracing the tactic, that is the most important thing. And they've finally, finally started playing as a team where they all have something to do. And they all understand the tactic they're, they're using. And uh, with that, I'm going to say that Yes, H2K choked, but Fnatic 
showed up. And they showed up as a team, which has been uh, sorely lacked for almost two years now. So good job.